I'm going to call the PUHS number six meeting of January 2nd to order at 7 o'clock. Um, and we'll start with the clerk's report. And is there a motion to approve the minutes of December 19th? So moved. Okay. Second. Seconded by Sean. All right. Any additions, deletions, corrections? Anything related to the minutes? Um, Russ well, told me one thing. The, the, there was a vote that was 6-0-2 six, six is what should have been the uh, two, two extensions. extensions. Yep. So, so that so instead of reading 6-2, it should be 6-0-2. 6-0-2, six, six, yeah. yeah. So that was, that was one that I saw, but I uh. wasn't sure. Okay. Anything else? All right. All in favor of approving the minutes of December 19th as amended, signify by say aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? Abstain. Ian's abstaining. Okay. Uh, is there any other communications for the board tonight? Well, yes. I would like to say how nice it was to open this paper <laughs> and see Crystal in a nice story about your future plans and everything. Thank so you. I thought this is good. So congratulations for Thank you so much. <coughs> that was a great nice article. article. Well done. Excellent. Any other communications that board members have? Okay, seeing none. There's no groups or visitors, so we'll move past that. And is there a motion to enter consent agenda? So move. Second. Second by Russ. Okay. And let's start with finance, building, and transportation. Okay. Finance met on the 22nd of December, and we approved warrants. And the warrant numbers in the um, agenda for tonight are correct. And the amounts are correct, except for the one for warrant 1090 is in the agenda as 1,731.26. And what we voted on was 1,831.27. But then if you look at the total in the minutes, or in the agenda for tonight, you will see that it's way off. I am no mathematical whiz, but I can certainly tell at a glance that those numbers don't add up to that number. What they do add up to and what we voted on was uh, warrant numbers 1091, 1092, 1093, 1094, and a total amount of $175,843.18. Okay, thank you for the corrections. Um, Michael or Sean, would you like to tell us what else we discussed at that meeting? Um, let's see. Well, we discussed the, we discussed the disposition of the Whetstone property. That's right, yeah. And uh, I've contacted an auctioneer about that. We'll get into more in the next finance meeting. Um, I don't can't remember. No, we yeah. did talk about the Whetstone. Did you get the Guilford agreement? Yeah. Oh, yes, that is right. We did talk about the Guilford agreement. Thank you. Were you there? In detail. As a no, matter. I saw the email. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. So that was, um, yeah, it was uh, 375 I think, for the cap, and we did a one-year agreement. And I don't think that has to be um, brought to this board. I think it was... Uh, under the purview of the finance. Yeah, it was under purview of finance. But you want to just let people know what that what that is? I don't have it right in front of me. I should have brought the paper, but I think it was 375. I think it was. Okay. It was the cap. 
There was some discussion about changing the cap, but after um, discussion, we decided to leave it as stated. Um, the cap for what? Well, it would be the cap with the agreement for Guilford. Right. For what they did was they put a cap on the maximum amount that was going to be due every year. Um, and this was the fifth year, I believe, and the cap um, is left as suggested. Um, Three seven. Sean, I, yeah. I knew I should have it jumped somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. yeah it was 375, and then there were, so 375,000 for um, next year is the cap. And then there'll be a renegotiation next year? There will be, and, and Frank, Sort of reiterated because everything is in a state of flux because of Act 46, possible reunification. It would be better to do it on a yearly basis until we get that figured until out. Until we get that figured out. So I think that there was going to be discussion at Guilford. I, I don't, I'm not sure whether they're meeting tonight. Maybe they are. Maybe that's why Ron is in here. But, Maybe. Um, Frank did mention that they were going to be going over that. So that was our recommendation. Okay. And we voted on it. So thank you. Yeah, thanks, Keith. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so WSCSU finance. Did not meet. Right. Has not met. Planning and policy. Has not met. Teacher curriculum. Has not met. Either. BAMS committee. Has not met. <laughs> WRCC. Has not met. And WSCSU Act 46 study committee. We met. We had one meeting since our last meeting, um, and it was a really quick, short meeting. Um, because it was the meeting right after the vote that is not allowing Vernon to leave the super leave the BUHS district, um, and there's a lot of questions out there. There was some discussion. Um, Mike Hebert came from Vernon Board to talk about basically the fact that they're very happy with the, the being part of this, but they want to keep their school choice. So. Trying, you know, they don't want there to be animosity around it, but there, Vernon was going to be talking to the state around what they can do to get out of um, the BUHS district, so that before any sort of merger happens or what the legal things need to be, and we were also figuring that out too. Um, and Act 46 meets this Wednesday at six at Oak Grove, I believe, in Oak Grove, at six o'clock this week. Um, so hopefully we'll have answers to some of those questions about what to do. So the meeting went, ended really quickly because it was really the, the work that we could do could all be for naught depending on do we need to add Vernon back in, is Vernon staying out, what's the state going to say, there was too much up in the air. So the decision was made to um, end the meeting early and so we're meeting again this week. And hopefully we'll have answers to those questions. Yeah, Sean. I did notice on that agenda because I read the agenda for this meeting coming up, and it's it looked to me like there was going to be some discussion about um, whether there's going to be a reboot in the town of Dumberston. But in addition to that, to see how it the unification could happen with Vernon. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm not sure what that meant. Do you have any idea? I don't know. I haven't heard yet what what the findings were because I know. I mean, when we left it last, it was, is Dumberston going to have a revote or not? And that might, may or may not change some things if that happened. Also, Vernon was late waiting to hear from the Secretary of State's office about, or State, yeah, Secretary of State's office about what are their next possible steps? What can they do? And I know that I believe the Supervisory Union was going to be talking to the Department of Ed to figure out, okay, what do we do now with this Act 46 merger process if this we have to stumble block? What do we do? So, I think that if they may have worked out something where there might be a way to move, keep moving forward in some sort of way without or with or I don't know, we'll find out more on Wednesday. I guess. Yeah, I think I hope it's on that same agenda that um, a couple of meetings previously I asked Frank what the financial implications were would be if there is no merger on the 30th of June 2017 and so I think there's going to be a presentation Giving us those numbers? Yeah. There are, you know, some pretty substantial financial implications if nothing happens. So 
Definitely. Once again, you know, things just go on bumping down the road and it may never we're never come to fruition. We'll see. Yeah. I'm gonna send Mike here an email and tell him to like kinda of keep me in the loop a little bit. Okay. It's a little embarrassing when I don't know what's going on. Cool. Yeah, so that was at 46 and again we're meeting this week on Wednesday at Oak Grove at six o'clock, so everyone's <coughs> welcome. Enjoy. Um all right, is there anything else for consent agenda? Actually, I have another question. Yeah. If I was not at that meeting, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, was there any discussion about whether Vernon is now going to be rejoining that process? The Act 46 process? Mm -hmm. Well, that's one of the things that is sort of up in the air. That because they can't leave the UHS district, does that mean they have to be part of the Act 46 process? And what does that, and how, did, how will that be? And are they advisable? Are they necessary? How do we have to put them into the paperwork? If we put them into the paperwork, is there another way, short of Dummerston doing a revote, is there another way for them to get out of the BUHS district? You know, so there's there was there was too many questions and no and nobody had nobody had any answers because it was two days after the election. You know, we'd only had the results for like 24 hours, so we just, nobody knew. So, all right. Um, is there a motion to approve consent agenda? So moved. So moved by us. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Ruth. All right. All in oh, favor? Uh, aye. Opposed or abstentions? None. Okay. So let's move on to administrative reports. Why do we start down here with Mr. Lyman? Yes. All right. Uh, I will be very brief this evening. Um, you know, we only had a few days of school uh, since our last report. Uh, but uh, people have been home and about uh, on break and getting some well-deserved rest. Um, I do want to ask for the appointment of a teacher. Um, teacher, the teaching position would be um, starting second semester, so mid-January until the end of the school year. Um, and as a technology education teacher, um, we started to fill that position. We interviewed a um, local resident named Jane Baker. And uh, I'd like to recommend the appointment to, uh, to hire Jane for the remainder of the school year to teach uh, tech, technology education 100% position. Uh, Jane uh, has a pretty extensive background. Um, uh, I think about two credits shy of a doctorate degree from Ohio State um, in tech ed and drama. Um, she has a master's of science from uh, Westchester University and a bachelor of, Bachelor's of Art from Hofstra University. Um, she's worked in various roles uh, at Ohio State um, and then came to Vermont, uh, taught briefly in public school up at Hazen um, as a technology uh, teacher and then uh, spent seven years at the Putney School um, working in technology. Uh, more recently, locally here, she's done a lot of work with the uh, New England Youth Theater and um, has her own film production, um, it's like her own kind of company um, called Yet Productions. So uh, we had her uh, teach a lesson, a sample lesson to us, uh, enjoyed her, and uh, um, she comes uh, well recommended, so I'd like to ask uh, that you point her uh, for the remainder of the school year. What do you move to Yeah. Um, I move that uh, we appoint Jane Baker as the tech ed teacher for the remainder of the year, 100% position, um, and look forward to having her in pants. Yeah. Okay. I'll second that. Second. Okay. Any, any questions? More numbers or things? Is it, um, just there in the school year and then a renegotiation for the, for the fall or? Yeah, I have to look at, um, that position had traditionally been split with um, the tech integration. Right. And Mary Linney has been kind of filling that role this year. So I have to kind of take a look at that. Okay. Um, and who who's gonna do what. Um, there's certainly a need for um, the, the tech classes, mm -hmm. um, whether it's full-time or not is, is um, we have to figure that out. So, great. All right. Any, any other questions? All, right. all those in favor? Aye. 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 
proposed or abstentions? No, no, no. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Is that it? Yep. Move down to BUHS, Mr. Pegg. Sure. So, um, welcome back. Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we welcome back all of our students again. And tonight is a school night. Um, so, I'm kind of excited to see everybody tomorrow. And um, a couple of things. First, I'd like to distribute our winter sports schedules for BUHS and BAMS. Uh, I know they're a little late getting to you, but um, this is the latest version. And uh, if you get a chance, um, our sports team is doing great stuff this year. Um, right now, our Boys basketball team is uh, doing phenomenal work on the court, as are our girls. Um, I had a chance to watch our, our uh, women's hockey team play uh, last week, and uh, it's amazing to see the talent and the depth of the program. So if you get a chance to check out any of our, our athletes, uh, please take that uh, time to do that. Um, when we come back, we're kind of shifting gears. You know, we're, we have this strange appendage end of the, of the semester. Um, so we'll have two and a half weeks of the first semester. Um, we're looking at final exams in the 19th to 20th. Those will be <coughs> um, half days for block students and for students that have period length classes. Some period length classes will have their final exams um, in the afternoon. That schedule is posted online so any parents can see it. It's also posted on our Facebook page. Uh, we start second semester on the 24th. Um, students will get their schedules tomorrow for second semester. Um, as has been our policy, we ask it, that students do not do schedule changes after the semester begins. So we give them, them we give them schedules now so they kind of take a look and, and tweak anything they need to. So, and finally, on February 1st, it's hard to believe, we welcome the class of 2021. Uh, we welcome their parents here. Uh, we begin our, our outreach to eighth graders and eighth grade parents. Uh, that started a little bit at the outlying schools, um, but as we move into second semester, we'll begin to do that outreach um, more earnestly. And so we're looking forward to um, never losing the class of 2017, <laughs> but we are looking forward to uh, the class of 2021 as well. So, and that's it. This is Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Long. Hi. Um, my reports will also be kind of brief, but... Um, as far as student council goes, um, we have a meeting again tomorrow morning, like every Tuesday morning, and we will most likely be discussing our um, our new. It's a what we're trying to do is sort of promote BOHS, and what we're thinking of doing is um, sort of going just selling merchandise to students and faculty of BOHS and um, uh, the middle school as well. But we just want to you know, spread the logo, not only, okay, so like sweatshirts and t-shirts and things like that, and then like wristbands and a couple of ideas have been floating around as far as that goes, and there have been some connections with companies that do do those types of things. And so we're really going to um, see what we can do about that. And another thing is the BOHS music department, which I'm also a part of. Um, <laughs> we are currently preparing for our winter concert, which is, well, at least choruses, I and mean, that's, um, that's our winter a cappella concert. So in chorus, the, our choir teacher would divide us into specific groups, and those groups are led by students themselves. So we would have student arrangers, student student-led everything. And um, those specific groups would perform a song and it's just like kind of rambunctious and just a fun night. Um, this would be held January 10th at 7 p.m. at the UHS Auditorium. So come on out if uh, you want to have a good time and see some youth performing music, and that's, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you. Yeah, Excellent. You're welcome. Awesome. Okay. So um, under unfinished business, we don't have anything listed, and then under new business on our agenda... <coughs> Could I just ask yeah. a question about... Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Yes, the, um, on November 7th, I believe, it was, I made a motion about the China trip, yeah. and I haven't heard anything. Okay. So just an update on that. Okay. I know that you were work, you and Ron were working on a presentation. Right. Do we have a? 
I don't. I'll check. Over. I'll see you around tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I know that they were working on the presentation. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just checking. Yep. Yeah. All right. So there's nothing under unfinished business then. Under new business, the only well, thing that's on our agenda is a warning article for our annual meeting on February 14th, um, and that is essentially just doing um, who's going to do what as far as making all the motions, um, essentially, and then we also have to sign this as well. Um, so how about we do this, Steve? I'll pass this around for all the board members to sign that are here. Sure. If you want to make notes on yours and next to who's going to do what, Absolutely. and then we can uh, and then get them both to Barb. Um, so essentially, there's actually nine articles this year, and there's nine of us, so that works out really well, <laughs> numbers-wise. Um, and I didn't. I forgot. Did not bring my list of who did what last year, but some of them are the simple, basic ones like reports of officers, electing a moderator, electing a clerk, those things. Then there's the big one, which is the budget one. Um, so, does anybody have a favorite that they definitely want to take? I'll do the. I think I, I've been doing the first one. I think Ron takes over as moderator. Yeah, Ron moderates for the right. for the first article, and the second article, which is to elect the the, uh, the moderator. Yeah, I think I do that. So you want to do number two? Yeah. Okay. So Mike's got number two. Russ, did I see you again? Um, uh, yeah. Do we appoint the treasurer? We appoint Frank? Yes, yeah. yeah, sure. treasurer. I'll grab, I'll grab that one. Okay, okay. four. Yeah. So Russ has got four. So we have. Uh, the reports of the officers um, elect a ballot clerk, um, one auditor to serve for two years, one auditor to serve for three years, well, how much to pay the officers and directors, the budget, the budget one, and then to transact any business that legally comes before the meeting. I'll do the Okay, you guys both want to do number nine. Oh, you can have it. Okay. Okay. So Ruth will take number nine. Sure. Um, I'm going to suggest that, and I feel bad doing this to Bob when he's not here, that Bob take number eight, yeah. which is the budget oh, question. Oh, Bob's used to doing number Bob's eight. Bob's used to number, doing number eight, and Bob did a really nice job of doing our recap, so we'll give that one to Bob. Mm -hmm. So, Sean, Ian, do you have I'll take uh, how much to pay officers and okay. uh, So, number seven yeah. is Ian. <clears throat> I guess I bring up the... <laughs> want to want nominate Barb as our clerk? Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, so Sean, take three. Put me down for one, Steve. I'll take number one and just get us started. Mm -hmm. And that will mean that Lori and Anne will have five and six, respectively. Just yep. However, because the only two that are here. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. And I'm going to pass around the copy that I have so that everyone that's here could just sign on a line for that so I can go to central office. And then Bob, Lori, and Ian will just have to swing by and, and sign it at some point so we have all the signatures in. That would be great. And then the plan at this point is because of all of the non-school, like two weeks from today is the Martin Luther King Day, which we typically don't have a meeting. So unless the administration needs us for something, we won't have another January meeting. So we, and we usually in February the only meeting we have is the our annual meeting, which is February fourteenth. So we essentially won't meet again as a group until February fourteenth, unless needed, unless administration needs us for something like that, and then we'll schedule an off cycle meeting at some point, preferably on a Monday evening, just so that we're in sync with the, with a Monday evening. But it might be the fifth Sunday in January because something comes up or whatever. I mean, fifth Monday in January. You said the one on, on February sixth. We're not doing. Yeah, that. we we usually don't. We usually only meet for the annual meeting in February, which will be the fourteenth. So. so the next actual board meeting we'll have will be March sixth. Yes. So that'll be the next actual board meeting. So. I miss you guys. <laughs> um, I can see. <laughs> so, is that it? Is there everybody's signed? What time is it on uh, the 14th? Yeah. The 14th, is it 7? No. 7 o'clock is the start time, yeah. yeah. In the gym? In the, in the gym. Yeah. 
unless they've got more time. Assuming not in gym. Can we decorate it appropriately? All right. Is there anything else to come before the meeting tonight? Yeah, Rick. Good job. As it appears that there is no more business to come before this meeting, I move to adjourn. Second. Second by Ian. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank you all very much. Happy New Year. Thank you all for all your time.